can you connect two Google Sheets data to one another? Yes. And it's a built-in function that's easy to use. It's called import range. You need two things. You need the URL of the spreadsheet that you want to pull data from. And then you need the spreadsheet range on that spreadsheet that you want the data to come from. Check it out. Import range B2. This is a URL for the data over here, which is just a bunch of Samsung Galaxy random data that I got on Kaggle. That's the URL. If you want to type it out, you need to put it in quotes and type out HTTP, blah, blah, blah. I find it easier and cleaner to just paste it into a cell and then reference that cell. Then also within quotes, you need to reference the range of the spreadsheet you're pulling data from. I've renamed this sheet tab to data. That's why you see data exclamation mark A1 through K. And that will, as I hit enter, pull every piece of data on these Samsung Galaxy phones into my spreadsheet. Now you can minimize this to say the first 10 rows if you want to just get those first 10 rows, any range that you want to put in here. What if you want to pull data from a website itself? Well, there's an import HTML function also built in. This is gonna take, you guessed it, the URL, a query, which this is going to be one of two words. You're gonna either have the word list or the word table, and then an index, meaning the first table, the second table, like which number table, if there's more than one on the page, do you wanna pull in? Now, what are list and index? Those are HTML descriptions of the data on a page. If we go quickly to the article that I'm referencing on Wikipedia here and we pull up the inspection developer tools, we can see that this right here is formatted as a table in HTML. In other cases, you may come across a list, an unordered or an ordered list of HTML data you wanna bring in. That's getting into the weeds a little bit. Let's just check out what our import does here. We are again referencing the URL in this B3 cell. We're typing table because that's the table we want. We're gonna get the zeroth table, that's the first one on the sheet, and check it out. It is pulling over this table of information and stats into our spreadsheet. Hope this has been helpful for you. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video if it has. We'll see you in the next one.